guys, what's up? It's your boy J Rob 447 back at it again with some NCAA basketball 10 action with the Hofstra Pride. We're going up against Siena. They're a really good team. They're the second best team in our conference, you know, right behind us. But Blaze Tile, we gotta look out for him. He's a beast. But also, I want to remind you guys that uh, I do have a video up on the J Rob TV channel. All right, if you like rap music, you will surely like that video. So I definitely recommend that you go to that channel and click the video watch it you know give your opinion on it if you like rap even if you don't like rap music i still recommend you you watch it so uh yeah just if you could do that for me that'd be really great so we do not win the tip off as the saints they do get the tip off uh they are named after saint bernard's that's why their mascot is a dog okay if you were ever wondering but doug givens can knock down that three okay he he knows he knows how to shoot averaging 22 points and eight boards he's a beast and you see Tyson Chambers has the ball he's gonna pull up knocks down the tray ball now if you hear some rain in the background it's because you know it's a storm uh, it stopped momentarily but it might start up again so I'm sorry if that happens okay so you guys see the score nine to six Joshua Evans is going to pull up from deep, and he ties up the game nine apiece. But you guys see the Saints stay up 11 to 9. But that is a nice pick and roll that leads to a bucket by Devin Kennedy right there under the basket. So you guys see Doug Gibbons playing that hard D. Whoa, pause. But hey, you can't. That was Swiss cheese, though. He let him go baseline. Don't let your. Don't let them go baseline because they can do that to you. But Damian Dunn getting boards, getting it done, gets the layup to go. And the score is now 21 to 17. We're down by four with six minutes, you know. We don't usually, we're not usually uh, a team that loses in the first half. So we're going we're gonna to have to pick it up, all right. And this is a home crowd. We're one of the hardest places to play. We're not ranked 18th when it comes to hardest places to play. So Sienna, they're really digging in. But I checked all their stats. They're A in every aspect. We're at A minus. So that's probably a reason. But I think we're only at A minus because our bench is trash. Honestly, we only got Jared Griffith and uh, Vincent Dobson. All right. They they all suck, though. Well, well actually, Jared Griffith, he provides some in Dobson. If I need some size, that's all I can do with him. He's like 6'6". Six, six. So if I need a little size, that's what I'll do. I'll just put him on a court. And I figured out how to stop the substitution glitch, guys. All I had to do was create another save file for this. And then it was like this is brand new and there's no more substitution glitch. So my dumbass didn't think of that the whole time and I was putting myself through hell. But now it is all solved. So you guys will actually be, be blessed with some new players on the court. So you guys see, we actually got the lead back, and Damian Dunn's making short stays as he gets the dunk to go, putting us up by three. But the Saints did get a bucket to go. I believe it was Todd who scored, and he's got 11 points. We got to find a way to stop him. But Tyson Chambers has the ball. He's been, he's been doing good all day, so I'll say let him get the last shot. Last shot is up, but it will not go down. So we're going into halftime leading. 39-38 in a heavily contested game against the Siena Saints. Uh, I actually had a friend who applied to Siena. Siena is, I've never visited, but I believe, I believe Siena is near Syracuse. I could be wrong. I know LeMoyne is near Syracuse. I might be getting mixed up with LeMoyne. Uh, if you don't know what LeMoyne is, they the LeMoyne. Is LeMoyne even close to Syracuse? I'm not, I know LeMoyne played Syracuse and they actually beat Syracuse. And this was recent. Lemoyne, uh, it was an exhibition game, and Lemoyne beat Syracuse. You could look it up. Lemoyne College, I think they they, they like D2, D3, and they beat them. And I was like, oh, my goodness, how to, how to, how to Syracuse lose? It don't make any sense. You know, I'm, with Syracuse basketball, since they're like the best team in New York for college, I kind of root for them. But, you know, UNC all day, baby. And, and Hofstra, I try, but they, 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 they sucked. They suck this year. But you guys see Doug Gims going to line. Blaze Todd commits the foul. I hope that's his name. Blaze Blaze. Who, who knows? I don't know how to pronounce his name. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right. But you see Doug Gims knocks down the first free throw. The second one. Nothing but the bottom. And I've kind of been thinking, you know, uh, Doug Gibbons kind of plays like Jimmy Butler. I'm, I'm not going to hold you. Okay. He kind of plays like Jimmy Butler. And who? Joshua Average. I would say... I don't know if I could say plays like D-Rose, but mm, who knows. 
honestly, he's just doing what he has to do. And Doug Givens trying to put the team on his back, dude, as he gets that bucket to go. But Sienna, they're not giving up. They're only down by one. But Tyson Chambers says, give me oh three as he knocks down a tray ball. So we go up by four. You guys see Doug Givens pushing in transition. Gets the layup to go with the left hand. <laughs> like Ginobili. So up by four. Tyson Chambers shoots the baseline. Jay. He's got his head in the game. So with 5.50 left to go, we're up by six. Sienna, they got to get a bucket. And they do not get the bucket, but they'll be going to the line. And that's Blaze Todd. I've been saying his name all day. Told you we had to look out for him. And then he's proving. He's proving that, you know, there's a reason why he was a player to watch. But he's unfazed by our fans. Like, we are shaking this damn arena. And he's still making free throws. We're like the 18th toughest place to play. And I also looked at the other play, tough place to play. UMass is up there. That's crazy. I mean, UMass hasn't been good since uh, Calipari was coaching them. And fun fact, uh, Coach Calipari actually went to school where I go to school. So that's uh, crazy. But you guys see Tyson Chambers getting a floater. So we're trying to extend this lead up by six. Five minutes left to go. CN Saints, they're not giving up. Knocks down the three. So we're only up by three now with 450 left to go. Joshua Everett's going to drive. Kick out to Tyson. Chambers who misses the three. But Damian Dunn's there for the slam. Putting us up by five. Now we're only up by three. Jared Griffith is going to pass it to Doug Givens who pumps. Drops to the basket. Kicks the floater. This dude's a stud. -d 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 -d. Oh my gosh. So we're up by seven with a minute left to go. The Saints going to have to do something they want to get back in it. And they knocked down a shot. So, hey, they're moving. They move, 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 moving. All right. So up by five with 51 seconds left to go. Jared Griffith's going to shoot, and he knocks down the shot, putting us up by 7 with 47 seconds left to go. So, let's see what the Saints can do. You know, they push the ball up, shoot a 3, and it's knocked down. Only up, only down by 4. So, they foul. Joshua Average goes to the line. Knocks down the first free throw, a very important free throw. Okay, very important free throw. Knocks down the other one. So, basically, I didn't play the other stuff because we basically kept making our free throws. We're going to end up winning this game 82 to 75. Yes, we're going to end up winning this game. You know, this was a very, very scary game. In the first half, I was like, if they're going to be shooting like this, we're going to have a hard time. Justin Rivers killed us. Blaze Todd k -k -k killed us. But Doug Givens, you know, he put the team on his back. Tyson Chambers said, let me get them reins too. And he was doing what he had to do. Uh, shout out to Damian Dunn, you know, getting them boards, baby. Joshua Everett, you know, showing off that leadership. And Jared Griffith, Jared Griffith coming off the bench, you know, just doing what he do. Doing what he do. Okay. So you guys see, look at those stats. Just, just amazing. Just amazing about starters. But anyway, this has been another J-Rob video. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and peace. When I touch a mill, I'ma be the same dude Split the money with my gang too And we be swerving in that Audi coupe